guys, how's it going? Ricky here from Most Valuable Podcast, here to give you my 2016 season preview for the Michigan Wolverines, and I'm not alone for this one, as I've got some special help all the way from Ann Arbor joining me on the MVP hotline, defensive lineman Mo Hurst of the Wolverines, and thank you Mo for spending some time, and I'm going to get right into it. My first question pertains to your coach, Coach Harbaugh. This past week on ESPN, there was an article posted that basically talked about Coach Harbaugh and how popular he is among millennials. In your mind, what makes Coach Harbaugh so popular among young college athletes? Um, I think it's just mainly his uh, his want to to understand what we're what's going on in our world, um, what's going on today, what's going on in music, um, in hip hop culture social media. I mean, he's just been trying to be involved with everything that uh, kind of like runs our life uh, today. So I think that's something that he's done a, a great job with in reaching out to recruits and trying to like understand them on a more personal level um, as millennials. And you mentioned the hip hop part. I got to throw it out there. Did you have any idea that Coach Harbaugh was going to be featured in a rap video with Bailey? Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't know that. Um, I remember hearing about hear, watching the video after after our spring game and uh, kind of seeing him and uh, getting to hear the song about him. And they played at practice a couple of times, and it was funny because he was just screaming like, "Who's got it better than <laughs> us?" Like walking down the field. And he, I mean, he seemed to really enjoy it. Oh, that had to be pretty cool to see him in a rap video. Yeah, I thought. I mean, I thought it was pretty funny. I mean, we got to see him on stage with Migos too. It was. Uh, it's just been, I mean, it's been a lot of fun. He's made the time outside of football really enjoyable for us. Well, now I want to ask you about the offense before we dive more in depth into the defense in Ann Arbor. And the big question mark for the Wolverines is about the quarterback position. What can Michigan fans expect from the offense with a new QB under center in 2016? Um, I think they could see an emphasis on the run game, at least early. Um, both these guys haven't had too much experience in a Michigan offense. Um, I know John played a little bit more spread when he was at Houston, um, and Wilton's gotten a, a little experience, especially in the Minnesota game, where he came up really huge for us. But um, I'd say probably just focusing on an emphasis on our run game. Um, we got a great O-line, a lot of guys coming back, um, third years, second years, uh, a lot of experience across the offensive line front, and a great running back. And, I mean, we have a lot of great running backs right now that are working in, Davion being one of them and Drake and Ty, and I mean, there's there's a handful of guys that could play at any point in the season. Uh, I think it's really just going to start up front uh, from the quarterback perspective. I'm, I'm not too sure. I mean, I don't know. Um, I'm not a quarterback. I can't really tell you how, how they're doing or who's going to win the spot or anything like that, but I know for sure we're going to have a, a heck of a run game. Now let's talk about the defense, and you guys have new defensive coordinator Don Brown coming over from Boston College to you guys this year. How excited are you to just dive into this new offensive system and to play for Coach Brown? Oh, I mean, I love Don. Um, He was part of the reason I almost thought about going to BC. Um, He recruited me when he was at UConn, too. Um, I mean, he's just a great guy, and I've I've gotten to know him over the years, and it's a I mean, it's a familiar face coming to Michigan, and, I mean, he really just brings a lot of energy. Uh, a lot of my friends, everyone I've talked to just just loves the guy. Um, he's a player's guy. I mean, he just – he really understands the players, and he really understands what uh, we need to do to be the best defense possible. And the most important part of the Don Brown defense is the pressure and the blitzing, the schemes around the blitzing. And I got to ask you, with Coach Brown – coming over what can we expect this season from the front seven in Michigan and the types of blitzing schemes that you guys are going to do I mean I think uh obviously you said uh coach Brown blitzes a lot um that's true it's something we're probably going to keep keep doing as we move on um I mean up front we've had we have some great guys coming back a lot of experience um we've all played together for for four years now um at least like uh, a lot of the seniors I mean there's a lot of young guys, too, that are going to have to step up. But um, I think it, the expectations are, are high for us as a as a defensive line, as they should be. And, um, I mean, they should just expect great things from that. Um, I think we have a group of hard workers, and that's something that's going to carry over once the game starts. 
Well, speaking of games, you guys got some pretty tough ones this season, but I got to ask you about that last regular season game on your schedule. Playing the Ohio State Buckeyes this year on the road in the horseshoe. I know you probably really wanted to play this one in Ann Arbor, Mo, but what's this last OSU game going to mean to you entering your senior season? I mean, it's going to mean everything for us. Uh, I mean, we have to assume that it's going to be um, Ohio State's going to have a great record, and that could be uh, indicative if we go to the college football playoff or not. Um, I think it's, I mean, it's going to be a huge game. I, I mean, I already know it's always a huge game, but especially this year, I think it's kind of the game that's going to be able to, to set us apart um, and help us improve from last year since we, uh, since we didn't do so well against them last season. Well, it's a game that could end up deciding Michigan's playoff future and the winner of your side of the Big Ten in the East. And I'm going to end the interview with a plain and simple question for you, Mo. Is Michigan a playoff team in 2016? Um, I mean, I believe so. Um, only time's going to be able to tell. I mean, there's a lot of ups and downs throughout the season and a lot of unknown. But, I mean, that's our goal. That's what we're shooting for. Anything else besides the national championship would be really a disappointment for us um, as a group, as seniors, as uh, new guys coming in. I think we've really set the bar high this year. As uh, I mean, we've been down. We've We've lost a lot of games uh, a few years back, and um, we're just trying to move upward. So if we can improve from 10 wins, I mean, that's a plus. We really we really want to set the bar high. We want to have uh, high high goals um, and just uh, dream big and just and know like every day that we're competing to try and win a national championship. Well, that's going to do it for our preview of the Michigan Wolverines coming into the 2016 season. I want to thank Mo for sitting down and taking the time to talk to me about this upcoming year. And I also want to thank the University of Michigan's athletic department for helping us put this together and really give this treat to you guys, the fans. This is where you guys come in first off before I pitch our own social media right down here. Right down here, I'm going to put it. Go check out Mo Hurst on Twitter, Big Poppy 73 You can check our Twitter and our Facebook right up there over my left shoulder, along with our Patreon page, patreon.com backslash most valuable podcast. Just a way for you guys to help support the channel other than hitting that like and subscribe button. Let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think of the Michigan Wolverines coming into this season and how are they going to fare? Are they going to be a playoff team in 2016? That's going to do it for this preview. We got two more left in our top 25, but as always, have a good day, everybody.